Hi there, Professor Monty here again. Let's look at odds and its related probabilities. So I've got odds against, which is how most things, horse racing, gambling, those types of things we talk about odds are usually odds against. And so odds against are a ratio of the event not happening divided by the number of ways it can happen. So I didn't put number of ways that it can't happen versus number of ways that it can happen, but that's what these mean. You can do it with probabilities as well if you know the probabilities. Probability that something doesn't happen divided by the probability that it does happen is what we would call odds against. Okay, so say we're in a horse race. The long shot is the horse that has the worst chance of winning, the lowest probability. So if the long shot odds are 50 to 1, we could always write, we could write it as 50 over 1 or, or 50 colon 1, or even 50 to 1, just write it out in words. These are the odds against. That means the horse is going to lose 50 times for every one time it wins. So that's what 50 to 1 odds mean for odds against. Also means if you bet $1 and you win, you get $50, plus you get your $1 back. Okay, so that's what odds against are. Odds in favor are very similar. So odds in favor, let's just write this here. So odds in favor are going to be the number of ways that E can happen over the number of ways that it can fail to happen, or probability of E over probability of not E. Okay, so just the opposite or the reciprocal of what we just did. And so, for example, say the odds in favor of a horse winning or you winning some prize or you making a basket or whatever the case is, say the odds in favor are three to seven. That means you're going to make it three times or you're going to win three times for every time you, every seven times you lose. So this would mean win three times for every seven times you lose. So it's just the opposite of what we had before. Now, realize that's what that means. If we want to do the probability of this, what we would do is we'd say, okay, let's see the probability, we'll call this event E. Let's call it event A. We're already using E up there. I don't want to make this confusing. The probability of A that you're going to win is going to be, well, we win three times, but we don't just play seven times. We won three times and played and lost seven times. So we actually played three plus seven times. We played 10 times. So we won three times out of the 10 times we played, or we'd have a probability of 0.3. That'd be the probability of a win. So the idea goes like this. If we have odds in favor of A over B, then let's say this is odds in favor of event A. Okay, odds in favor of event A or A over B then the probability that event A happens is A, probability of a win or victory or whatever it is, over A plus B. And we could do something similar to before if we had the odds against, then we could say, oh, the odds of a loss in this case, and then we, it would have been flipped over. So if I have the odds in favor, a wins to B losses, I could say probability of a loss is B over A plus B. So it works that same way. So we've got the odds, what they mean, and the probability, you just have to put it over the total. So put on top whether you're looking for a win or a loss, so odds in favor or probability in favor versus probability against. All right, practice this and you'll get it. It just takes a little time.